Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we are going to continue our Red Deer Great One grind. I have been doing this on the live streams recently, and I decided that it was about time we did a bit of an update video, kind of talking about our progress here, and also showing off some of the trophies that we got recently. Because we did recently have a pretty awesome hunt where we ended up getting two diamonds within 40 minutes of each other, which was pretty amazing to see. And I'm hoping that we can replicate that luck today, but uh, as of now, it's uh, not exactly looking like that. But as of now, we do have pretty much the same layout that we've been using over the course of the last two grinds here on Tiawaroa. Uh, the big change is that we no longer have a zone right here. I don't remember if I talked about that the last time that I did a video on our Red Deer grind. But there is no zone here anymore, so we're down to just this zone and then this one. And then I think there's one other herd next to it. So there's like two herds at this zone and one herd here. And that's pretty much all we got left at the river because I don't hunt these because they're kind of out of the way and I don't have enough tents to dedicate towards them. Uh, but everything else seems to be about the same as the last video that I did where we've got some zones here. Uh, we've got our zones up at these lakes and then down at this river. And for the longest time, I've been only doing the grinding on live stream. Uh, but with the announcement of Revontuli Coast, I'm probably going to continue doing my grinds off stream now and also in these videos as well because I really want to get either a red deer or a whitetail great one before the new map comes out, preferably both if possible. So that's something that I'm going to push towards very, very hard in the near future. And hopefully we can actually end up getting ourselves at least one of the great ones before the new map comes out. Because there does appear to be a new great one coming with this map and that means we'll have a new grind to go after. So we definitely want to make sure that we can at least try to get one great one before this map releases. And at this point, I think we should have at least a month to prepare. So. Uh, let's uh, hopefully get one. And as with uh, pretty much any grinding video, we won't be showing all of these small stags, primarily just the larger ones, so uh, yeah, this is probably the last level 6 you guys will see in this video. Well, there we go with a mythical. That is a pretty good looking stag if we could just get him down. Uh, as you guys can see, I took down a few over here. But uh, that mythical just kind of popped out of nowhere, so it's, it's a good thing we saw him and I realized what he was before shooting because otherwise uh, you guys probably wouldn't have even seen this in the video. But we did just manage to get ourselves a pretty nice mythical and we're going to go ahead and grab some of these other stags as we're zooming over here. So let's go ahead and pick up this level 7 and then we will quickly run over and find that level 8. And there he is. Unfortunately, we did not get vitals, but it's still a very good looking stag at 239. Uh, we got thoracic vertebrae and looks like flesh on the second shot. A little unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Still a big stag down and hopefully his respawn will end up being a level 9 or even better, a level 10 fabled. So it does seem we have a pretty nice looking level 7 right here. And then uh, we also got Gerald just kind of hanging out with it. Uh, if you guys have been hanging out in the live streams, uh, you probably already know we uh, decided to leave this guy alive and we've named him Gerald. So, yeah, we kind of see him every time we go through this area. And just because he's a level 3, we figured we'll let him live. We don't really have much use in uh, taking down a level 3. And because I kind of find it fun to let you guys name a few of the deer that we have on the map, like I mentioned, uh, just to have something familiar to look at every time we visit a lake. I, I do think it kind of makes it more interesting and at this point waiting for the new map I'm just trying to find new stuff to do because uh, let's be honest the game is getting a little bit stale with uh, no updates in over two months. I really just need this new map to drop so I can have some new content to make but uh, for now we're gonna be doing uh, different things like different odd stuff like naming deer and just kind of letting them chill on the map. Another run, another beautiful level 7 red deer, along with a few others that we will take down shortly after. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the 308 and try to get a shot into this guy. And that should do the trick nicely. I think there was at least one more stag if I'm not mistaken, but do believe we got the majority of them. Yeah, we definitely did. Alright, let's go ahead and go grab that nice level 7. And here he is, a very nice 205 Red Deer. Very, very nice. Now, although we've had a few decent level 7s showing up, I'm really not seeing the high amount of mythicals that I was seeing during the live stream the last couple times that we've hunted Red Deer. It's a bit unfortunate to see there be less and less of them the more runs I do. However, 
typically whenever I have a streak like that of just bad luck, we shortly have some really crazy trophies following. So I'm hoping that that's going to be the case here. We have a couple level sevens out here. Maybe things are starting to look up for us because this is the first uh, time this entire video that I've seen two level sevens side by side. So hopefully that's going to be a good news for the future runs, but I guess we'll see. There we go with the first one, 198. Very solid level seven. And this second one is probably my favorite of the two. I've always liked this level seven rack right here where it's got a couple of tines that kind of split off. I do think that looks so nice, and I think this actually might be a 50-50 rack. Yeah, it definitely is. So both of these racks, when they're uh, matching, look really good, and I'd love to find a couple rares with them. I have killed one level 7 with a rack like this, and I think I've got a level 7 uh, albino with this rack as well. So I have got a couple rares with these racks, but I'd love to get some more. I, like I was saying, if I can get a melanistic with a rack like this, I will be incredibly happy. I just don't know if that's going to happen at the rate that I've found Melanistics with the, with the rate being zero. So I guess we'll see, but hopefully we'll manage to find something in this video, even if it isn't a Melanistic. Oh my gosh. I did not see that guy. Uh, good thing that I ended up spotting him before he darted off, because otherwise we might not have got him. I just saw the uh, level six there. And was going to just take that guy out, and then that level 8 just pops up out of nowhere, so... And now we got ourselves an extra one to go grab, which is kind of nice, because it is good to see a mythical. It's been a few runs since I've seen one. Well, I guess not a few runs, it's been about two runs. But still, it's nice to see another one. There is the smaller one that we took down, and I just heard another stag. Well, I guess we'll uh, take him out while we're here. Might as well, and now let's go grab that level 8, because it should not be too far away. I couldn't imagine that thing have has ran too far, and yeah, it's right here. Beautiful, so this is a pretty good size level 8. It should be around, oh wow, actually, I was completely wrong. This is one of the smaller ones. This is a 211, which makes it 40 points below diamond. Definitely a little smaller than I thought it was. The thing that I don't like about the red deer and this has kind of been a problem ever since Truax was released for them. Now, don't get me wrong. They are my favorite Truax in the entire game. I think they're by far the most well done. But there is one glaring issue with some of the larger ones. And that's the fact that there is like five variations of this rack that all score drastically different. And I don't know why that's a thing when they could just have like one or two of them and make them look nicer and score better. I don't get it. They've got like two different ones for level seven, two or three for level eight, and then the level nine version. So it's it's a little odd to me. But let me know what you guys think, because may maybe I'm crazy, but I just don't think that that is uh, the best thing that they could have done for this particular rack. I really think that giving it uh, some more time, some different time configuration would have been better than just making it like slightly more mass heavy or angled different because that seems to be the only differences between a lot of them except for maybe some of the level sevens are missing like this tine here but other than that they're almost the exact same so i've always found it kind of strange but let me know what you guys think once again a very nice stag just running out in front of us as i fast travel to go claim these this seems to be the norm almost every time the bigger stags are the ones that end up running when I fast travel. It's, uh, it's kind of unfortunate because then we have to take a rushed shot, but I mean, at least we're still getting them, and that's the main focus here, is just getting them down regardless of how we do it or when we do it, so I guess it's really uh, not that bad. It, it still is a little unfortunate, but it, it's still good, I guess, if that makes sense. I, that probably didn't make sense, but I, you guys get what I mean. And here is our level 7 stag next to one of his fallen brethren, which should be a level 6 if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is a level 6, but borderline level 7 even. This is definitely one of those ones that was very close to being a 7, but for some reason the game just decided to make it a 6. I love to get those down because a lot of times they do end up respawning as 7s, which is good. And once again, I have decided to take another run through without resetting the time, so we're still on the same time cycle. And we've got two level 7 respawns from those two level 7s that we took out earlier, which is amazing to see. Because it does mean that we're starting to get a few more 7s than what we were when we first started this video. 
which is always amazing. Now let's just get a second into that one so that it doesn't run off too far. I'd say we're doing pretty good. We're getting lots of sevens, a few eights. I got a feeling that if we keep this up, then we will end up getting a rare. Uh, we're about a little over an hour into recording, so we got plenty of time to try and get ourselves a good one. And there it is, 187, 210 kg. He's a very good looking level seven red deer. Most of the level sevens look amazing. Love to take them down. And then the other one should be right here. And it is another very nice looking red deer. 211 kgs on this guy. And another good looking rack. 192.60. Not bad. And you love to see it. Another good looking level eight. The spawns are definitely starting to improve, which means I got a feeling that we're close to getting a diamond or a rare. Uh, most likely a diamond because it does seem like level nines have been way more common than rares for me. I don't know why, but that's just been the case pretty much the entire time that I've been grinding on Tiabaroa. Uh, this map is just loaded with diamonds for me. Uh, not so much the rares though. And there he is, a beautiful stag. This one's scoring 216, so roughly the same as the last level eight, but uh, still really good to get down. And there we go with another level eight. And we are just seeing level eights around every corner now, which is amazing to see. 203 to 248, as you can see, we already took down one over there. But we've got this guy right here, along with a level six behind it. And hopefully we've got some other good ones around here. But it is looking like it is just going to be this guy, so let's get a shot into him. Uh, once again, using the 300 just to kind of speed up the process of taking him down. There he is, a very... Very nice looking level eight, as with the last one. Uh, roughly the same, but the crazy thing is this guy's like 10 or eight or 10 points below. I can't remember if it was a 218 or a 216 for the last one, but it's uh, quite a bit lower on the score, but the rack looks almost identical. That's the thing that I don't get about this uh, rack shape is so many of them look very similar, but score incredibly differently. That's been my only complaint with the Red Deer True Racks ever since they released is that there's so many racks that do this where they look identical for the most part except maybe a couple minor differences, but they score so drastically different. I think the only change I see is maybe it's missing a tine on this one. I think that's got to be the difference. It took a little bit longer for this guy to show up, but we do indeed have another level eight, probably four or five lakes later. Which, uh, I guess that really isn't too long of a time between the last one and this one, but it still took a little bit longer than it did for the last two. But it is another mythical, and it's actually a really big mythical at that. I think that is one of the largest mythicals that you can get, so hopefully this will mean that we'll have something great coming up very shortly. And you know, one of these days building up the hype to something uh, like we're trying to do here, one of these days it'll actually result in something, but nine times out of ten, and we just end up finding some level fives and sixes on the next run. But, you know, there's always that small sliver of hope that there's going to be a nine or a fabled whenever we start seeing lots of these mythicals and sevens. It always gets my hope up. And, you know, sometimes it does turn out to have some pretty cool things around the corner. Uh, but most of the time, that's really not the case. And I'm hoping that this will be one of the times where we do find something good shortly because we've been grinding for a little while now and I'd like to have uh, some type of... A decent trophy show up with us being probably I'd say 60 or 70 stags into this video here it'd be nice to have something great show up especially since the last live stream that we did we didn't get anything good while we were grinding the red deer and we easily killed 50 or 60 of them so it'd be nice to just have something crazy show up it's been probably close to 200 kills since the last diamond and a lot of times we go two to three hundred without a diamond and then get a bunch of them back to back so I'm hoping that's gonna be the case today so I think at this point we have uh, talked about all that we really want to talk about and have seen many, many level 7s and 8s go down. So I think at this point we're probably not going to show off anything unless it's a rare or a diamond. So once we find a diamond or a rare, then I'll check back with you guys. Well, there we go. We have finally done it. It's not a diamond, but it is a troll level 9, which I suppose that's at least good. At least it did lead up to something. It's not the diamond that we were hoping for or the rare that we were hoping for, but it is a level nine. And even though this is a guaranteed troll, I know this is about to make a couple people upset. We're uh, we're using the 300 on it because uh, to be completely honest, I'm tired of seeing these level nine trolls. I've killed so many of them on this grind. So we're just gonna attempt to 
Drop one into the head, and there we go. We got him down. So that's going to be our first level nine of the day, about a uh, little over an hour and a half later. But we did manage to get one. That is going to be our first level nine of the day, and we also have a really nice level eight and a decent seven. So I'd say this is going to be a really good run. Let's go ahead and take down both of these if we can. And of course, going to have to shoot that guy in the butt because of the fact he was behind that tree. And if we can maybe get this one, that'd be great as well. And there we go. But the only thing we're really worried about is that level nine. Man, I both love and hate to see this right here. The troll rack for the level nines. It's one of those things where I've always loved this rack, but I hate the fact that every time I see it, I just know it's not going to make diamond. I really wish this one at least had a small chance to make diamond because it is a cool and unique rack. And it would be awesome if we could have at least one or two of them make diamond, but unfortunately they score so far below diamond that there's really no chance. All the spread in the world couldn't fix this guy and make him actually make diamond. It's pretty sad. But you know, it's uh, definitely satisfying to brain shot them. Well, we have finally done it after about three hours and three minutes of recording. We do finally have a level 9, but it is the most ugly level 9 that I have seen in months. And it's got a pretty poor estimate as well, 252 is not looking too great. We're going to have to hit at the very top of that estimate for it to even be a diamond, which is uh, pretty unfortunate. Let's make sure we get the correct gun this time and try to get a shot into him. I think this should be good right here. And yes, that was definitely good. Oh my gosh, it's nice to finally get a diamond down. After three hours of grinding, I was really starting to think that we would not have anything for this video besides the two diamonds from the stream, but we did just manage to get another one and hopefully it'll make it. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. A beautiful level nine on the ground. Uh, well, a, a not so beautiful level nine, but hey, it's still a level nine and it's got a chance at diamond. So let's see if it is. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that is, that's crushing. 248.20, really unfortunate. You know, I've had this happen before, but never with the uneven rack. Like I've had a few that looked like they were gonna make it that were either this rack or this rack over here. And then they just miss it by a point or two, but I've never had it happen with a 50-50 rack like this. So that's actually a first for me. And I think on that note, let's go ahead and jump into the highlights from the live stream where we ended up finding two diamonds within 40 minutes of each other. Ah! Oh my gosh, hi! <laughs> oh my gosh, uh... <laughs> well... Oh, what a way to start the day! Hey! How's it going, buddy? Long time no see. What a way to come back to Red Deer grinding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is hilarious. How long has this guy been here? Because it's been months since I've shot a Red Deer. Wow. I, I don't know, Caitlin. I don't know what that screech was. I think that was a screech of excitement and shock. Because that's the last thing I expected to see is our first uh, Red Deer of the day. Oh my gosh. That's great, though. Uh, that could not have worked out more perfect. I love it. Um, This guy's wide, but not 270 wide. This is going to be a 263.5. 26480, I'll take it. Beautiful. What a return to the Great One Red Deer grind. I'd say it's a pretty good uh, first kill back. Oh. Uh, ah, dude! Another one! <laughs> That's the second one today, and this guy is just as big! Oh my gosh! What is our- what is our luck with the Red Deer today? This is just insane! A second diamond. Or at least that should be a diamond. I couldn't see this guy not making it. He doesn't look like he's got a uh, super tight uh, tip to tip. So I think it should make it. I've had one of these troll in the past, but this guy looks really nice. That's a big one. Oh my gosh, he's huge. That's an absolute giant. Like that actually is going to be very high 260s. Probably at least 267. <laughs> 
There we go, we got it. I lagged a little bit as I took the shot, but I think that was good. I had a quick little stutter as I pulled the trigger, but I think it stayed on target. That is crazy. We got two giant diamond red deer today. Oh yeah, that's a big one. I'm calling it 267.10. 263.70 actually. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, that was almost so bad. So I guess the stutter did pull us off target slightly. But we still got vitals. Yeah, that's not as big as I thought. I was expecting like 267 plus, but... It is, uh... 263.70. Still crazy though, that's two diamond red deer today. That's insane. That is absolutely insane, guys.